Hello. I visited Yorkshire Sculpture Park today. I found out it's nearing the birthday of a sculpture park, which opened in 1977. So it's a joy to be celebrating its birthday. The estate has a long and fascinating history. When Sir Thomas Wentworth, owner of Bretton Hall, died in 1792, the estate passed to his illegitimate daughter, Diana Beaumont. Nobody quite knows how this came about. One possibility is her commitment to continue the landscape design. That Sir Thomas seemed to care so passionately about. It was even said of Diana that she was loathed by everyone except her gardener and possibly her husband. Diana continued the improvement of a landscape she inherited. She employed Robert Marnock as gardener design, who is acknowledged as one of the outstanding horticulturalists of the 19th century. Diana also introduced the Camilla House, which was one of a range of new features and follies that came to the park while she was the owner. The Breton estate has a long and varied history, from the home of the Wentworth family to pioneering centre for education, Breton Hall College in the 1940s. In 1977, lecturer Peter Murray came up with the idea of exhibiting sculpture in the landscape and opening it up to the public. And so Yorkshire Sculpture Park was born. Today, there are some very interesting and reflective art pieces by Barbara Hepworth, Damien Hurst, Henry Moore, to name but a few. I mean this with no disrespect, but I have to admit, my favourite was immersing myself in nature and the wonder and magical of being with a beautiful soul. So take your time and enjoy Yorkshire Sculpture Park. Thank you.